I, I got to ask you the question that I ask everybody, is this the end of, of Boris or will Houdini manage to get out of the straitjacket and avoid being lowered into the concrete overcoat I, at the bottom of the Thames? Yeah, I think in one answer, uh, yes, or one word I should say, yes, I think it is the end. Um, what, the question is how long will the end take, but mm. I think it is the end. Why do I say that? I think we've now had seven resignations tonight, two cabinet ministers, uh, a, a trade envoy, the vice chair of the party, three PPSs, and they are coming in. More interestingly as well, Mark, we've had, I mean, dozens, I think, possibly now of MPs, again, publicly stating they have started to submit letters of confidence in Boris's leadership. Mm. So I think there's a sense, there was two ways this could go tonight. Either we'd have essentially the cabinet almost en masse resigning. Now, that mm. does not seem to have happened. We've had, of course, the Chancellor and the Health Secretary, two big departments. Nadim Zahari, of course, mm. the Education Secretary, has just literally in the last minute mm. or so gone into Downing Street. Lots of suggestions that he might be the new Chancellor, uh, which would be a massive step up for mm. him. Uh, but I think determined tonight the government to try and fill those positions. The problem is, actually, is now with the wider party. And there are these elections, we know, to the 1922 committee next mm. week. That's the governing party of the Conservative Party. Will they change the rules? Almost certainly. And if they do, are there now enough people who would submit a confidence vote that we would just have a vote potentially mm. almost immediately? Yes. Mm. Would the Prime Minister then survive that? You know what? At the moment, that seems pretty unlikely, I would have thought.